I'm Stuart White. Grew up in uh, New Mexico. I've been a veterinarian for 25 years in Watertown, Wisconsin. I uh, came here in 1983, worked with large and small animals. I have my clinic up there. And I met Tom through uh, Ed Shard, a hunting friend of mine that I've been many times to Canada with. We are bird, bird hunted here. And he had a couple of uh, English setters, or uh, yeah, English setters from uh, Tom. And Tom told me about him. I got into uh, hunting dogs again about three years ago after I found uh, some red field setters that I was very interested in and came down and met Tom with a four month old puppy. I was very impressed with Tom and his natural ability to, uh, to read dogs' body language, to read their personalities. Uh, very quick and astute naturally, he does it uh, unconsciously I think. Uh, I still have to, even though I know dogs and their body language very good, his training aspects are different than what I do in a clinic. And I have to watch him to see what he's doing when he's doing it. And I watch for that. And uh, it's, it's fun to do. Uh, he's worked with uh, several different uh, personality dogs uh, of mine, from very uh, shy and ones that are very uh, if you scold them, if you just say a harsh word to them, oh, they act like they've been <laughs> the most terrible thing in the world. Uh, he picks up on, on that very naturally and adjusts his training techniques. Uh, he's worked with about five dogs of mine so far now. Uh, done a very good job. Uh, the first dog he started with, it's now a three-year-old, it's a fully broke dog. He's working with our puppies that are only, uh, they went into the first puppy trials at six months of age and they placed uh, second in two, uh, two uh, uh, field trials and third in two field trials. And Tom White's done a, done a very good job for me. Very easy for me to talk with. We're on the same page. He understands animals. Uh, I like his techniques. His biggest job with me, and I knew it when I came down here, Tom immediately grinned and agreed with me. I said, your biggest problem, Tom, is going to be training me and uh, how to work with that animal. Because a dog and, and, uh, and a hunter in the field, it's team. And uh, you have to know, once that dog is trained, what he is doing. And Tom takes you out with the dog and actually shows you how he's working it and what the commands are, teaching it to woe, to hold, and uh, the calls when to come. And he's worked with me a lot on that. And uh, for sure in my background, that's where I'm probably short, although I was hunting quail in Oklahoma when I was nine years old. Uh, hunting with these dogs the way they're trained today is, is quite an art and uh, very important on finishing the team, knowing how to keep your dog tuned up so he doesn't go off course once he's been worked with uh, is very important with what Tom does. Uh, I've seen him work with uh, not only field dogs in hunting, I've watched him work with behavioral dogs. German Shepherd he had out here two or three weekends ago when I was out and he was working with him just on some behavior things. And I really didn't realize before that that Tom even worked with those dogs, but knowing the body language of the animal, how they respond, what they're thinking, what their posturing means, uh, he's shown competency in that area to me also, watching him work with that German Shepherd. Tom White's uh, uh, picked up for me on my very own dogs, talking about husbandry. Um, I had a whipworm problem. And uh, one that I picked up when I took uh, one dog off and was breeding some other dogs and, and picked that up. Uh, we've talked a lot about the vaccination programs and he's following very closely to what we do at our clinic. Uh, and we've worked together some on that. Uh, I feel very comfortable with my dogs being here. I know he picked up one of my dogs was in heat and she needed to go home because that's, uh, that's not good for the rest of the, the group that's here, and picked her up, and we both watched her through that. 
I, I hunt with uh, and selected a breed to, uh, to hunt with that's probably referred to by some as a novelty breed. It's a rare breed. Yeah, I term them red field setters. They're an American crafted breed. Tom knew of them immediately. There is another red field setter breeder in the area. He knew the dog. He works with a, uh, with a host, host of dogs. Some of his initial comments to me, even initially, uh, shortly after he saw my young pup run, which he was very impressed with, is most red dogs don't hunt very well. But this one's got my attention. And uh, he thought he was good enough to go into field trials. He communicated that with me, and he is a good, excellent super hunter uh, after he's gone through training. But uh, he works with English Springers, Water Spaniels that I know of, Pointers. Uh, I mentioned the German Shepherd already that Tom White worked with. Uh, he works with my Reds Field Setters. A lot of the hunting breed, uh, in my mind, and I've seen work with uh, Brittany's also, uh, are very similar, the upland dogs. But then you get into the whole new field of the water dogs. I've watched them out here many times in the pond that's right behind us, Tom, in the, uh, in the lab, Retriever. I've seen him out here many times with those. So his knowledge is very broad-based in the field, field trial and hunting dogs, in my opinion. You'll find a lot of trainers that just work with retrievers or some with pointers. Uh, Tom is of the old school there through his father's background and his background in both areas. I haven't had a chance to hunt with Tom White yet. I haven't done that. Would love to. We just, between his schedule and my schedule, we get together a lot down here and we get together at the field trials and then he has, usually has some of my dogs all the time. Tom White has, uh, has talked about that several times. And he's made the comments that I can take a, a trial dog hunting. It's more difficult to take a hunting dog trialing. He feels that he can go much quicker with just a hunting dog than he will a trial dog. Because a trial dog, they want specific standards set up by the rules of a uh, field trial upland field trial hunting. And he's, he's probably quicker to push dogs through into hunting. And the, because the dogs can take it. It isn't because he's pushing them quicker because he can, he won't do it. But he likes to start with them uh, at about six months of age. He wants them worked with before that with the owner. But uh, for sure they're ready for his more intense training by that age, a lot of dogs are. And uh, field trialers, he takes his time with that more. He wants them to have that free spirit to run, cover ground. Uh, the old field trials were from the southern plantations where they had a lot of open country and they hunted them off horseback. And they wanted to be able to see those dogs and see them covering 400 plus yards out if they would so do it. Uh, but. He also has expressed that there's not going to be that big an issue like with uh, my Buster dog. To uh, train him as a field trial dog and let him run as far as he will, but still work on pulling him in when I'm at Mud Lake in Watertown, Wisconsin, and I can't see more than 100 yards. And I found that to be very true with Buster.